Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And has the end of the baseball season got you down? Well, hey, if that's the case, I got a game for you. <clears throat> Today, we're going to do the 1930 Washington Senators against the 1970 New York Yankees. And as you can see, I've got my Yankee jersey on. Sorry, I don't have a Yankee hat. But I do have a Yankee jersey, and so I will be managing the Yankees against the Senators. And uh, the pitching matchup is going to be L. Brown. I don't know who that is. Lou Brown, Lenny Brown. We'll see in a minute. But uh, against Stan Bonson. So we'll see what happens there. Um, let me turn down the sound first. Yeah. All right. So let's get ready to rumble. And there he is, Stan Bonson, and he's pitching against Buddy Meyer. And let me here, let me move myself over just a little bit, get myself out of the way here. Um, okay, so we're underway here. Stan Bonson dealing to Meyer, Meyer, and he gets a base hit. Um, that brings up Sam Rice against Stan Bonson. I got both teams. Well, uh, 30 Washington was 94 and 60, and uh, the 70 Yankees were 93 and 69. And we got Meyer moving over to second on a ground ball. And um, Honus, or no, Heine, Heine, Man, Heine Manouche is up for Washington against Bonds. So both teams were good. You have to remember now in the 30s, the, especially in 1930, 1930 was one of the biggest offensive years, and they moved Meyer over to third while I'm talking. Um, 1930 was one of the biggest offensive years in baseball history. Um, there was the, the pitchers were terrible because the offenses were great, and that was no exception. Joe Cronin, the old Cronin, maybe flies out to white. Yeah, so no runs despite a hit by Meyer for the uh, for the Senators, and they have Lloyd Brown. That's uh, that's the only L I didn't guess. But anyway, Lloyd Brown dealing to Horace Clark of the Yankees. And it looks like Horace Clark is going to pop out to short. And that brings up Thurman Munson. And he's going to hit the ball to the middle for a single. Thurman Munson aboard and Roy White up. And so, you know, it's going to be skewed. I think it's going to be skewed, not only because Washington will have a really, really great lineup, or should, but on top of that, their pitching is not going to be that good. It's going to be terrible, actually. And then you put it into 1970, probably would not have been quite as bad in 1970 as it would have been in, as or as it was in 1930. And we got Bobby Mercer up, and he's out, and so that... Puts it all up to Danny Cater. And Danny Cater is probably going to fly out. Tremendous diving catch out there. So now we got Joe Judge up. I don't know why he's batting so low in the batting order, but... And this is not the coach of the New York Giants. This is the... Uh, the previous Joe Judge. So now we got Sammy West up against Bonson Burner, and he is out. No, he's no, he's on. What was that? A walk? All right. Ozzy Blue Edge. And he looks like he'll fly out. And he does. And so that brings up. Roy Spencer. 
Roy Spencer up and strikes can out. And I think that's it for Washington, isn't it? And yes. So now we got John Ellis batting against uh, Lloyd Brown. And John Ellis is going to be out. And that brings up Ron Woods. And Ron Woods looks like maybe he got a double or a home run, even maybe a home run. No, it's an out. They catch it at the wall. And that brings up Gene Michael, the stick. And Gene Michael is out. So this brings up Lloyd Brown to bat against Stan Bonson. And I guess it's okay that this is pitcher bat, even though it's two American League teams. Because in 1930, there was no DH. And in 1970, I don't believe yet there was a DH. And Lou Brown got a board, too. <clears throat> so we got uh, Dan Meyer back up. And he, or Buddy Meyer, up and he got, he got last time. He got a single and he got singles again. And so now Bonson is in a little bit of trouble here with no outs and runners at first and second. And Sam Rice up, who was a very good hitter in his own right. And what the heck happened there? I guess they sacrificed him over. All right. So Heine Manoush is up, runners at second and third. <clears throat> And he walked, and so now the bases are loaded with the old Cronin, Joe Cronin, up at the plate. And he's going to pop out, so he doesn't come through in the clutch for Washington, and that's their second out with the bases still juiced, and Joe Judge up. Maybe this is why they put him where they put him. But he struck out, and Bonson gets out of it. Amazing. So, uh, here we got Bonson up at the plate with a terrible hitting card that he has. And he's out. And that brings up Horace Clark. And Horace Clark's going to hit it down the line, maybe a double here. And yes, it is a double, and that brings up Munson. Come on, Thurman Munson. Let's get a hit. And he strikes out instead. He goes the road was traveled. And we go with Roy White. And they walk Roy White to pitch to Mercer. Kind of crazy. But maybe not, because Mercer struck out and it was lefty on lefty. All right, so that takes us now to the uh, top of the fourth. where Sammy, Sammy West awaits Bonson, who escaped. He did a Houdini in the last inning and escaped a lot of trouble to allow no runs. Or no, he did get, oh, he did allow a run. All right. So you support, oh, wait, no, we got the run. So we're ahead one nothing. I didn't even realize that. So there is Blues getting the board, and he, with one out, Blues is on. So maybe that one guy hit a home run. It might have been a home run, I thought he, and I thought it was caught at the wall. Spot. So uh, uh, Spencer is out, and that brings up Lloyd Brown, the pitcher. He's one for one on the day, and he's out. So we got Danny Cater up and uh, New York with a one nothing lead here in the bottom of the fourth. And he's out. John Ellis is up. John Ellis might be a fly out. It pops out of his glove, so Ellis is aboard. Brings up Ron Woods, who is 0 for 1. No, he flew out. That was the guy that flew out. 
and Gene Michael, oh, uh, maybe not. And then Gene Michael's up. And Gene Michael looks like he's going to fly out to center field. And no runs come across there, so we got uh, Buddy Meyer up against Bonson, who is still in there despite not having been on all that sharp today. Fly ball to center field. Mercer will take care of it. It brings up Sam Rice. So this great 1930 Washington lineup is really not showing it here, at least not against Bonson there. Rice is aboard and Heidi Manoush is up with one out. And that looks like it'll, I don't know. What is that? Yeah, two down. That was uh, either a pop out or a fly ball. And Cronin, the old Cronin. Joe Cronin's up and he's out. Oh no, no he's not. And now he is. Gene Michael throws him out. And we bet against Lloyd Brown here in the top of the fifth with Stan Bonson up. And he's out. That brings up Horace Clark. And Horace Clark is going to go deep. And it's gone, and this time I know that it's a home run. Yeah, there, there wasn't a home run last time. I don't know how we scored that first run. So anyway, we did score the second run on a home run by Horace Clark, though. So we have a 2 nothing lead now with Thurman Munson up. And Thurman Munson is going to fly out. So that's it for us there. But we did get another run, and now it's the bottom of the, or it's the top of the. Oh no, no, we're still up. Roy White. All right, there's only two outs. I don't know. I'm, maybe I didn't have enough coffee this morning. And he walks. So now that brings up Mercer with White aboard. And Mercer's going to ground out. No, it's an E4. He would have grounded out, but he didn't because the second base been made an error. So that brings up Danny Cater. And Danny Cater is going to fly out to center field if West doesn't drop it, which he did. So, <clears throat> so now we are out, and it is the top of the sixth with Joe Judge facing Stan the Man Bonson. Bonson Burner. And that's going to be a single for Joe Judge. Got to count yourself lucky that it was just a single. So Sammy West is up. And Sammy West looks like he... No, it was snared by Michael. It was headed for a hit, but Michael snared it. Now you got Ozzy Blue is up. He walks. Roy Spencer's up with two on and only one out for Washington. And that's going to be that's going to be bad news. That's a double right there. That's got double written all over it. And they do score their first run. And I am going to go get some relief. Let's see here. Who do we have in the pen that we can go get? Um, Yeah, let's go get uh, Wazlewski and bring him in. All right. There you go. So Wazlewski's on to pitch. Mr. Gary Wazlewski, I figured, but, you know, I didn't want to take a chance again. I couldn't get the right L name for the Washington pitcher. So, And he's the guy that's up, and he walks. So now Wazlewski has a problem. He's got bases loaded with only one out and Buddy Meyer up on top of the order. And he is out. One, two, three, double play. So Washington is held only to one run. And uh, Lloyd Brown is back out there to face John Ellis.
So it's uh, really a pitcher's duel, which you wouldn't have expected. And it looks like a double duck for Ellis, and it is. And now that brings up Ron Woods, who flew out deep to the wall and did not homer. And he hits the ball to the opposite side, which should move the runner over. And it does. So now the stick, Gene Michael is up with a runner at third. And one out, and he hits it right up the middle for a little base hit and knocks in the Yankees' third run. And now Gary loose. he's up. I'm just going to let him hit away. And what happened there? Double play. Wazowski hits a new double play. That's fine. We go to the seventh, three-one lead. Let's see if Wazowski can hold us. Here we are. We got Sammy Rice up, and he's out. Manoush is up. Another thing that makes this kind of an unfair match, where you're pairing apples to oranges, is that back in the '30s, the players had a lot more errors than they had in the '70s because of the advent of better gloves, for one thing. Um, Joe Cronin's up with Manoush at second and one away. Of course, we have a two-run lead now instead of a one-run lead, so we got a little bit to play with, and that is going to be an out. So Joe Judge is up. It's up to Joe Judge here. And he, well, there was a wild pitch, so he's still up. And he's going to hit the ball right up the middle and knock in the second run for Washington. And now they're only down by a run with Sammy West up at the plate and judge it first. And he's beamed. So now there's two runners on. Wazlewski is just letting everything get away from him here. And he's going to hit a, the ball into the gap and score the tying run at least. And that's a triple. So he knocks in two runs and Washington takes the lead. And Roy Spencer is going to hit a fly ball, which will end the inning, but now Washington has pulled ahead 4-3. So, um, and we got the seventh inning stretch. And now Horace Clark up, top of the order for the Yankees. And that's an out, looks like. No, no, must have been an error. No, Clark beats it out. Field hit. All right, so Thurman Munson, come on, Munson. Got to get things going here. He strikes out, though. He opts again for the road less traveled, and then we get to Roy White. My question is how did this team win nine three games? So, anyway, Roy White hits the ball into the gap. Not in time, so they had not in time to turn double play, but they did get the man at second. So Mercer's up with a man at first, two down in the seventh. It's getting late for the Yankees now. And he hit the ball into the gap, and there's an error, single and an error. So Cater is up at the plate with runners at second and third in a very key situation, two down with Oh, they walk him, and they're going to pitch to Ellis. I don't know why. They were both right-handed, and I don't know. Maybe Ellis isn't as good a hitter. He's not. So, so that's why. All right, I'm going to go to the bullpen for us. I'm going to get Wasluski out of there. The dude just does not know what he's doing. How about Mike Keekick? What about him? No. How about Ron Klumkowski? Uh, no. Maybe Steve Klein? No, he was just a starter. Lindy McDaniel? Yeah, let's go to Lindy McDaniel. So, Lindy McDaniel in. Lou Brown, the pitcher, or Lloyd Brown, the pitcher, is up. They're going to keep him in, maybe for the long haul. Of course, that's how it was done in the 30s. Buddy Meyer up. One down here in the eighth. Top of the eighth. 
And it's a single, the stick, he couldn't get to it. Sammy Rice is up. And he hits the ball into the gap and uh, for a single. Heine Manoush up with one out. Is that gonna be a play? No, but there are two outs. Joe and Cronin up, and who's up after Joe Cro Joe Judge? All right, I'll take my chances with Cronin. And he does get out. So, batter was injured on the play and has to sit out two days. So they're going to come up with somebody new for Cronin. But, I mean, does that matter? We're, we're losing by a run still. And here we're batting in the bottom of the eighth with Ron Woods up. And I will have a decision if Lindy McDaniel or no, whoever it is, it comes up. Gene Michael, the stick is up. Safe. All right. And now Lindy McDaniel's up with one away. Huh. I don't know. This is a tough one. All right, I'll pinch hit for him. We'll worry about the pitching when we have to worry about the pitching. So, who should pinch hit? Should be a right-handed hitter if I have one, and that's Ron Hansen. And yeah, he's a good choice. So we're gonna bring in Ron Hansen. We'll see if he counters by taking out um, Brown, but he doesn't. And Ron Hansen is going to ground out. So now I do have to go get another pitcher. Oh no, what happened? The runner moves easily. Oh, I guess that was a second. Oh yeah, that was a second out. We're not out of the inning. So Horace Clark, again, I need some more coffee. T is just not doing it. And there's an E6. And we tied game on that E6. So Thurman Munson up, and they walk him, and then they're, they're going to pitch to Roy White. And Lloyd Brown gets him to fly out to center field. So we're in a tie game, though. And who was the last hitter? Uh, last hitter was Roy White. A left fielder. Does Hansen play left field by any chance? By any stretch of the imagination? No, he does not. All right. Um, we're going to put in... I don't know. Fritz Peterson was just a starter. Mainly a starter, actually. And Stottlemyre was only a starter. So we're going to go to Klimkowski, which we can because this is only one random game. So I could go through everybody if I wanted to. But Klimkowski comes on to face um, Joe Judge. And he walks him. And that brings up Sammy West. And Sammy West is looking like he's going to fly out to Woods. That brings up Blue Edge, who is two for three. And he's out. And that brings up Roy Spencer with Judge aboard in a tie game. And that's it. And Bobby Mercer is up for the Yankees here in the bottom of the ninth. If we score a run, we win the game. And what was that? That's an out. Danny Cater's up. And Danny Cater is on with a single, which brings up John Ellis, big John Ellis. One out. And he hits a geek, it's a base hit, and 60% I really, I'm not going to send. I can't do it. That's just too low. Woods is up with one out. 
but baby Lloyd Brown is tiring. And he walks the bases loaded for the stick. Gene Michael. And Gene Michael's going to hit the other way because they do bring in uh, Bump Hadley to, pin, to pitch. And that's strike three. So now we got Ron Klimkowski. And you know I'm pinch hitting. I mean, you know it. Got a chance to win it. I know that we're getting through that bullpen in a bad way, but you got a righty out there, so we want a left-handed hitter. Um, and who better than Lytle? I mean, really. And they leave Hadley out to pitch, and he Lytle does not get anything. So we're going to extra innings, and I do need to, yes, I need to put in a pitcher. Um, we're going to go to we're going to go to Jack Aker. So Jack Aker's on to pitch to Bump Hadley. And you know, he doesn't, they don't take out pitchers, so. Hadley is out, sir. There's one down for Washington here in the top of the 10 with Meyer up. What the heck happened? There we go. Meyer up at the plate. And he strikes out. That brings up Sammy Rice. And that's it. So we got the uh, top or the bottom of the 10th. Bottom of the 10th, again, the Yankees can win it right here. Horace Clark up. And Horace Clark ripping a single. Uh, no, he's not going to go anywhere. So that brings up Munson. Let's see if Munson can do better than one. his one for four. And he walks. So Roy White's up. No out. Bump Hadley in a little bit of trouble here. And that's going to be a slow roller to first. Double play? Are you kidding me? All right, double play, but the runner moves to third with Mercer up. And he hits what could be the game winner. And it is. So here we go. We're going to get the box score. Take a look at this bad boy. Yeah. So there you go. The Yankees win it in the bottom of the 10th, 5-4 on a hit by Mercer, a key hit by Mercer. The Yankees, you know, we really went through our pen pretty well. But uh, Jack Aker ends up getting the win for us. And the loss goes to Bump Hadley for Washington. But a uh, really good game. And you guys know what the drill is. Leave a comment below about the game if you liked it. Give me a thumbs up. And... Uh, Let's see, share it with people who might like the Yankees or baseball or miss baseball. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free, all that good stuff. But that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.